it's time for another review. And this time it's a game. Well, two games this one. Uh, the reason I'm doing this like as a double review is because these games they're very similar yet I don't know. I, you'll see. You'll see. I, I just think it'll work better. Alright, I'll tell you the games. They're like they're really good games. All right. The first one is this. Persona 3. The uh, re-release of Persona 3 specifically. Persona 3 FES. Which has various changes to the original Persona 3. And the second one is Persona 4. Which is... Give me a second. Yeah, I can't show you the disc. The disc is stuck in my PS3. Yes, my PS3 has died. Officially. 60 gig model. And I got the yellow light of death. So Persona 4 is unfortunately stuck in my PS3. It's on my second playthrough. I already get into it as well, but it's, it's, it's done. It's stuck. And that's why it's very like, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, Persona 3 and 4. Alright, what are these games like? <sighs> They're really good. They're proper brilliant. Oh, wow. They're just... They're, as RPGs go, they're not incredibly conventional. In terms of mechanics, the battle mechanics are conventional. The story mechanics, they're not conventional. It's really... they're really weird games. Apparently the spin-offs of the Shin Megami Tensei series, which I've never played, but Persona, they've like branched off into their own franchise in a way. And in terms of graphics, both of them are quite similar in terms of graphics. They both use like the same engine. Persona 4 kind of has more complex like polygons and stuff, but they're quite similar. They have a very, very unique feel to them, these games. They don't go over the top. That's what I love about Japanese games. Like Yakuza as well. That's um, They just. They don't go for presentation, they just make an immense game. So yeah, they're RPGs, the personas. The bloody good ones and all. Because unlike a lot of RPGs, which are all about story. Alright, alright, fair enough. They do focus on story, but it's not so much the plot. It's the people around you. It's all about the social aspects, Persona. And that's where it excels. I've never played a game where I've actually felt as though the characters are this real, as in Persona. Because your whole purpose, the whole point in the game is to increase your relationships, to create relationships with people so then your personas that you use in battle, they become stronger. That's weird though, I don't know which one's better. I don't know. I can't decide. There's like some aspects of 3 are better than 4. Some aspects of 4 are better than 3. I just... The story in 3, it's about... There's this kid who's unnamed. He goes into the city. And it turns out every day at midnight, there's an extra hour on the day. Apparently there's 25 hours in a day. There's not 24 hours. And this extra hour is called the dark hour. Right? But in the dark hour, these everyone goes in coffins and these beings called shadows roam about. And the whole purpose of the game, basically, you people who summon personas, they go out and kill shadows. Because they don't go in coffins during the dark hour. So yeah, you gotta fight a lot of shadows and explore this giant tower called Tartarus, which is your school, but it like morphs during the dark hour into Tartarus. And you have to scale Tartarus for this game. It's a, it's a good story. Persona 3 has a very good story. It's, it's Sometimes it's complicated, but I like it. I think it's good. It's 
it's it is a bit depressing though. There's there's a lot of really depressing bits, and I don't want to spoil it, but when one of the characters dies, oh, it was so good. I was so good. You're like one of the few good characters, like in battle, and they died, and it's like, oh, that's just cruel. Uh, but yeah, Persona 4, on the other hand, the story in Persona 4 is different. It focuses, well, obviously, social links are important, but it's more of a mystery. It's like bloody CSI, I'm not joking. Because there's a lot of murders in this town called Inaba, right? And you have to figure out who the culprit is. On rainy nights at midnight, someone will appear on TV or something, and there's these rumours, and it turns out someone's lobbing people inside TV to kill them and murder them. So it's your job to stop it, and you go inside TV and start fighting shadows, and oh, he's very good. He's so good. It sounds weird. It's reminiscent of me off the lead review of this. It sounds weird, but it works really well. I have no idea how. It just does. And it's fucking hilarious. These games are right funny. They've just got some ridiculous bits. I love it. The battle system is very traditional in the fact that it's actually turn based. It's turn based. I love turn based. Uh, the only RPG I won't play it. Well, take that. Fallout 3 in turn based. That works pretty well. That works really well, actually. But yeah, Sona's very, it's turn based, very traditional in its style. It's hard as well, these games are tough games, you have to manage your time really well. I mean, you know normally RPGs, you're like, what you do, you kind of, if you're not ready for a boss, level up and go and go for a boss. In Persona you can't really do that, because, well especially the fourth one you can't. You have to be so, you have to manage your time really well, because... If you don't do your social links, you're fucked at the end of the game, because you're physically not powerful enough to beat your bosses. So, yeah, you have to be strong. You have to balance it with, like, going to Tartarus or going inside TV, and that balance. You find yourself, you know, when you're not playing, you actually find yourself managing the time in your head. It's really clever, actually. It's a great lot of thought that goes into it. But yeah, it's tough. It's rewarding though. It's really very rewarding. Voice acting. Oh, some of voice acting. Well, it's like anime style. You can't really complain. It's not like Metal Gear, where you've got people like bloody David Ayer and Quentin Flynn doing voice acting. It's like, all right, that's pretty cool. It's just, it's very anime. It's like, do you know what's funny at all? I've noticed, especially in Persona 4, I swear half a cast of Bleach work on it. It's like, you, there's loads of people. There's like, yeah. But I mean, even your main character, it's Ichigo. Your main character's Ichigo. And Adachi, he's Ichigo as well. And but I mean, what do you call him? The bloke, the new report on TV, that's a real. Oh, were it now, Rookie? I can't remember. You'll notice, if you watch Bleach, you'll notice, it's right funny.